Earlier this year, we reported on the innovative and rather cool looking HH66 from the Hudson Yacht Group. Now the company is up to the ante and announced details of their new flagship, the HH88. The new Morelli and Melvin design continues the innovative theme that characterised the 66, and this is a maxi cruising cat on a mission, where keeping the weight down and performance up was the key goal. The structure starts with five large main bulkheads that tie the hulls and deck to oppose the large racking loads. Construction consists of a resin-infused special triaxial carbon sandwich laminate. Modular parts are built separately before then being installed using an assembly jig. While the interior is a largely foam cored mahogany veneer, which provides a plush finish without putting on the pounds. In a detailed VPP study, short hull keels were found to provide an efficient and less expensive way of achieving the target performance. And when you're talking about cruising at 20 knots, who's going to argue with that? Newport, Rhode Island is famous for its mansions, yacht clubs and racing, but the New England town has got more to it than that. Here, the community believes that protecting the local environment starts with understanding their own backyard. An 11th hour racing is working with a number of local organisations to find out some of the answers. One of the many projects is a STEM education programme for Newport students as part of their curriculum. Newport Film runs public outdoor screenings of environmentally focused documentaries. Composting food waste rather than using landfill sites reduces methane output and the runoff that contributes to toxic algal blooms. And then there's the Marina Trash Skimmer project that is run by Clean Oceans Access. Eight filters run 24-7 to collect the rubbish that gathers in corners of marinas. They cost just $1 a day in electricity, take 15 to 30 minutes to empty and maintain, and have retrieved over 15 tonnes of waste since 2016. But for all the technology that's helping to clean up, in Newport is the community that's at the heart of making it happen. There's nothing new in environmentally friendly resins, at least not for Sikkiman. Founded in 1983, they started producing green resins for the ski and surfboard market before moving on to other areas of composite construction. Over 50% of the molecular structure of Sikkiman's green poxy range is derived from plant material. Yet it still has the same structural properties as the resin derived solely from petrochemical products. It's no more expensive either, plus there are no new techniques required to handle it. Among their customers in the marine world, greenboats use this resin for their elegant and innovative Flax 27-day sailor. Her laminate was Flax fibres, you probably guessed that bit, along with Sikkiman's Infogreen and Green Poxy 33 resins, and she's an absolute beauty. You can see more on the Flax 27 in a feature we produced earlier this year. In the meantime, it's great to see another step in the journey towards that greener future.